Hello and welcome to Patriot Contraptions. You know you've reached a weird point in your life when you realize that you have a curvature angle for a barrel just sitting around your house, just in case you happen to need to build a raft. But that's exactly and there you have it. We are building a raft for today's build. I hope you guys like that intro. I'm sorry that all the footage pretty much except near the end is shot the wrong direction. That's because we were in such a hurry. We had only two weeks to do this build that I just simply forgot to pull out the um, camera and shoot the film the right way. But that being said, let's get into this. So the first thing we're doing here is building a frame out of two by tens. This raft is going to be six feet wide. It's going to be 10 feet long and we're gonna have five two by tens just lined up in a row. Um, for the base of it and then we're gonna strap the barrels to it using ratchet straps and it works out pretty good We got it on the river after just one day of building Unfortunately, we forgot to buy enough plywood So we had to go back the next day and buy the final sheet of plywood to put it on the front and get it all finished up But now we get into the tricky part which is building a paddle wheel for our homemade paddle wheel raft here now in order to enter the race that we wanted to enter this had to be human powered so what I'm doing here is I'm building a four spoke paddle wheel and I've cut these circles out, and then I'm putting 2x4s in between them. One of the 2x4s goes the whole way through. The other one had to be cut in half. Then I've secured them with glue, and then I've drilled holes in the center, and I've put the axle through it. Now, that axle is a half inch. I wouldn't recommend using a half inch axle. I literally um, did that simply because I ordered the supplies for this on the lunch break at my new job. And uh, we didn't have any time to go back and change it to a one inch or a three fourths inch, which would have probably been a better option. But that being said, here what I'm doing is I'm building the metal brackets. Now these are reinforcing brackets for the uh, sides of the paddle because I don't want all the force going through that half inch um, rod because I just didn't think that shaft would be strong enough to actually spin the wheel. What I'm doing here is I'm building a little reinforcement. So I've got this metal um, one by one that I just had sitting around and I've slid that over our half inch shaft and then I've welded these two um, end plates to it. This is like quarter inch thick mild steel that I'm welding here. It just wasn't super strong. I don't know exactly what steel it was because I just pulled it out of my scrap bin, slapped it together and built this mounting plate. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna put all the torque that would normally go into the shaft directly into this one by one piece of metal instead and that's gonna make it a lot stronger. Now here I've bolted it all together. You can see I've got metal on the inside and outside of the spokes that are then bolted into it. Now it's important that I bolted it and I didn't screw it into the two by fours because um, that gives it more strength being bolted. Of course, we had to take a little break here, go out on the river on the raft because uh, we've been working like crazy. Um, we were at the one week mark right now and we had something that was just starting to look like it was maybe going to be functional and we only had a week left. So here we are coming into our final week of the build. I'm struggling, I'm at night trying to finish up this paddle wheel. And you can see here, I've got it spinning for the first time. Now, if you look at the right side of it here, you'll notice that we've got the gear mounted to it. Now I'm using a 35 chain. Again, I do not recommend using a 35 chain. 35 chain just did not, um, well, it just wasn't strong enough really. We probably would have been better with a 41 or a 420 chain, which we later swapped it to. And as you can see here, we've got that big metal shaft that I've built out of the one by ones, welded everything together, and now I'm building the actual paddle wheel holder. Now these two arms come off the back of the boat, and I'm just using two by fours. I've layered them together and then glued them rather than buy uh, four by fours because four by fours are more expensive. Um, glued them together and then I've bolted everything. Now it's important I'm bolting everything. The reason I'm bolting everything is number one, we can take it off later if we need to. And number two, by bolting it, you drill a hole first and then you used compression force to hold the paddle wheel uh, mounting bearings to it as opposed to using just torsion force and screwing into the wood where you could break your wood. At this point, we started finally building the bicycle part. Unfortunately, uh, we were running so fast on time that I didn't film all of it. That being said, we did get the paddle wheel mounted and I quickly welded together this um, bicycle frame. We only had half a bicycle frame. We couldn't actually find a whole bicycle in time that was readily available. And let me just note here, at this point in the build, this is the day before the race. This is the start of, this is halfway through the day before actually, um, right now that you're looking at. So we haven't even got the jack shaft on to transfer the power from the bicycle to the uh, paddle wheel. And it's the day before the race. Now here it is, we're coming up on noon and we finally got the bike mounted. I've just taken some shelving brackets that I had in the back of my garage, slapped them on the bike frame, welded it, 
and we started to paint the back, ran out of time, managed to get to my buddy's house and finish assembling it there. Unfortunately, due to the speed of the build, we weren't able to um, film. We were just trying to get it done. Now, this footage here that you just saw was shot at um, basically sunset the day before we finally got out and tested it. And here is our finished um, raft that we're going to race using human power. Now, as you can see, we've got the paddle wheel on, and on the left side of the wheel there is the chain that comes up. Now, we've got a torsion thing made there out of a piece of plywood that I've then cut a notch in, and that's just held up with some springs and some uh, deck screws to just put a little pressure on the chain, keep it on during the race. It worked out really well. We never had a derailment on the back during the race, which is phenomenal. Now, up on the top of it, we have our jack shaft. Now, what we did the jack shaft was we mounted it to these uh, piece of two by fours that come up and then we were able to secure it using the bolts and kind of just adjust the angle until we got the right distance and the way the bicycle is now originally we planned to have the bicycle ratchet to um, allow us to coast the problem was that didn't work out the ratcheting system wasn't strong enough so we ended up welding it and just going with human power the entire way through the race and having no coast and it worked out well for the race. It uh, went decently fast, two miles an hour downstream, which is awful, let's face it. So after the race comes and we want to upgrade. So my buddy over at the Disciples Workshop happens to have, by the way, go subscribe to him if you haven't, um, a nine horsepower engine just sitting around that he traded for some years ago. He can tell the story about that on his channel. I won't steal his thunder. But he puts that on with this torque converter he also had sitting around and we spend a day just chilling out, fixing everything. As you can see, we're using a 420 chain now instead of a 35. We get it all together, fire it up, and we're out on the river, and this thing runs amazing. This is one of the coolest builds we've ever done. As you can see, it just throws spray everywhere. It's crazy. It's fun. And at this point, let's just keep in mind here, we did this entire build for about the equivalent of maybe $150 just right now. We could have done it even cheaper if we didn't have to follow the safety guidelines for the race and had to uh, spend some time actually looking for components and getting them second hand. We weren't able to do all the time just because of constraints. But that being said, we made this fantastic raft. Downstream we were able to go six miles an hour. We're going to see if we can increase that a little bit. And then upstream we were hitting about four miles an hour cruising upstream, which was a lot of fun here. And you just see that thing kicks up a wake that's just unbelievable it was so fun and it makes this fun sound too when you listen to it here just that you don't get that on a regular boat and it's just so much fun now i also claimed the honors here of being the uh savior of the day and getting to put the chain back on during our uh, first test run because the chain did come off um which was interesting and then i just kayaked up and i put the chain right back on here as you can see and it worked out really good. We managed to get going pretty decently fast. Um, it was hard to keep up with it in a kayak. So uh, coming up in the future, as you noticed if you've been watching my shorts, we now have a film boat, which is going to be awesome. Um, we actually have more than one film boat. I have about three film boats now, which is going to be crazy. So that's going to be cool. Um, we're going to take one of the film boats out and we'll hopefully get some nice shots of it cruising up the river, get some different angles. We're going to probably put a captain's wheel on it so you can actually steer the thing because right now the steering is done by a paddle in front of the uh, person operating it. You just kind of turn the paddle to uh, show which way you want the boat to go and then it goes that way. Not the best way to steer whatsoever, but overall it's a lot of fun. Um, that's our homemade paddle wheel boat that's uh, human powered and ended up being gas powered as well. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see all of you in the next episode. Also go check out my friend at the Disciples, the Disciples Workshop and I'll see you.